flying the flag again seeking three wins in a row against the world champions The switch kickoff has to go 10 meters. It was Cohen who played it, and that will be a scrum back on the center spot. Borderline call that no Wilkinson did the switch. Let's just high. see. No Cohen rises high, and no Paul Hollis no spot on up. there. Stand up, guys. Well, that's a poor start for him. They're very ambitious, but lacking precision. Come closer to the mark, please. England with a slight weight advantage then. I just think Jeremy Paul as well with a dodgy hamstring doesn't make it easy for him to push. I think England are going to attack this part of the game. Regan puts in. This is Larkham and then Mortlock off his wing. We'll see him do that an awful lot. Matt Cobain with that drive forward across the England 10 metre line. Regan to the short side. Paul back from this hamstring problem and there's Vickerman up until this year he was qualified for South Africa but he's chosen Australia so has Noriega the ex-Argentina international but he's lost it and Neil back was there and Moody the Leicester combination in the back row Moody again good work by the flankers Greenwood Went off injured last week with a dead leg and he's turned over there and there's a great chance for Australia. Herbert. Gregan, Martin Johnson coming through to make a tackle. And it all just did enough, but the referee's given a penalty. Penalty offside, white four. Against Johnson for being offside. One of the leading all-time scorers in international rugby, but not that time as he misses his first kick at the post. Wilkinson behind Sailor, but it's Larkham. Wilkinson took that in beautifully. Wonderful skill and all kinds of pressure. Dawson up the touchline. Moody in support. Good work. Excellent from the England forwards. Cohen now. Still a chance to go wide if they get quick ball. Dawson. Greenwood. Oh, he's meant for Richard Hill. Oh. He knows how close that was. Should have been a try, really. But Wilkinson plucks that ball out with the left hand. There was a moment of consummate skill from Ben Kay that led to this. Now, I think... Now, I'm not being overly critical. There's so much space there. Mortlock's too far in field. Greenwood overhits that. That should have been a try. Steve Thompson, the England hooker, this big bear of a forward. Dawson, Wilkinson, Greenwood. Robinson. Good pass, Tyndall. This is Simpson Daniel. James Simpson Daniel for the corner. Ben Curry will make it. Class finish. It's Cohen again. Well, last week we saw an early try from New Zealand when the right wing Dougie Howlett came from the other side and linked with the big man Lomu to score. This time, Simpson Daniel comes from his wing and it's the big man Cohen. Greenwood should have put England in for a try a couple of minutes ago. Watch this. Robinson, little show. Simpson Daniel from the right to the left. He combines, takes three men and Cohen there. Just as New Zealand used the pace of Howler and the power of Lomu, so England have gone the pace of Simpson Daniel with a finishing of Cohen. Good start for England.
and Johnny Wilkinson with the conversion which is good very good and you could say the same for the try seven nil for England first class finish from an increasingly world-class player and what a future this man has as well the other wing Simpson Daniel inside to Cohen terrific combination terrific start for England well he's tied in Larkham Sailor and Cobain hasn't he and that's why Woodward's off his chair great combination from the England wins really first class stuff good take from Moody at the restart Wilkinson <laughs> not sure about that one I think the green and gold wanted a bit of Johnny Wilkinson referee holding out his arm England's still allowed to go, might as well have a go. This is Simpson Daniel starting to revel now in international rugby. Cohen pushes it back to Robinson. Good work again from the wingers. And of course now there's no real advantage, but I think England having got themselves out of that hole, the referee's quite right to blow the whistle here in Australia's favour, despite the boos. As Vickery explains, the laws of thermodynamics as applied to scrummaging. The Honest isn't impressed, penalty Australia. But that's much better. And Gregan's decision is justified by his kicker. England 7, Australia 3. Matt Burke onto the board. Always helps when two are there, but there's a lack of numbers on that far side. Cohen was calling for support. Dawson. Kicked away by Gregan, surprised about that. And Robinson is held. No, he wasn't. And held on. Looking to cut the gap then, Matt Burke to just the one point. It should be easy. It is. Hill to Cohen. They need to tackle him early. And they did. That is not a good move. They tried to score against New Zealand under the post. It doesn't work at the moment. But it was brave from Neil back. And that enabled England to hold on to the ball. Dawson looking around for the charging Hill. It's Australia ball, but it's an England penalty. As Justin Harrison is called back. I bet even the posts feel like applauding. What's the cheer for? Another matter of fact kick. Cobain has that look of, well, that's no surprise, is it? And here he passes to Jason Robinson. And still Jason Robinson. Simpson Daniel off the floor. Gregan. And the advantage over as Australia find their touch. Moody, that England scrum disrupted. Dawson. Brilliant from the England scrum half. He's got K going with it. Oh, great step from Dawson. All about support play here. Jason Leonard arriving. Victory drives on. Moody tries to get it away. There's going to be a penalty, surely. As Vickerman climbed all over the attempt at England attack. It must be a card. It must be a yellow card. It was a professional foul. It's got to be a yellow card. Your player on the deck down here, playing the ball after the tackle. All right. I don't want any more of it. Close to the goal line. Just remember. All right. I got that. Okay. Can you quit? Possibly here. They're going to kick the goal. What's the court there? It's not going to be you a card. He was fine. He was wide. This is what he does so well. Show and go. There you go. Danny Lee did it close range. Dawson's gone. 55. It's a beautiful step past Larkham as well. 
three men hit him but just watch now off his feet you'll see Daniel Vickerman there you go taking Moody out if that's a penalty that's a yellow card the man wearing 10 for England is Johnny Wilkinson and he takes the three points Neil back Johnny Wilkinson to Vickery that was a bit static and hence Australia drive England back Dawson Tyndall Cohen so often the line breaker another advantage for England and it's a full penalty and Matt Dawson has gone quickly Johnny Wilkinson and if sides give penalties away that is how to hurt them but he can't get his hands on this one Cobain to Smith and then Kefu Australia turning on the switch here England have been penalised for pulling down at the line out so that's a penalty it has been a stop start half, there's no doubt about that, the uh, time is legitimate. Here's Kefu, flatly, big gap! That is a try and a passage of play, oozing spirit and desire from Australia. They are not out of this match. Well, flatly pulls out a Steve Larkin from 10, doesn't he? Super skill from Kefu. Number eight does it quick. There's a slip, isn't there? Wilkinson has slipped. And that has opened it up. Johnny Wilkinson's foot in went. Flatly just glided through. It was going to be hard anyway. But no doubt at all. Wilkinson slipped and flatly just coasted through. Burt conversion. It would have been so easy for Australia to go for the three points. They rejected that option. And look at the difference in the body language now. Australia can't wait to get down the tunnel to talk about their recovery. England made to think, having established a healthy 16-6 lead, almost at half-time, but almost wasn't enough. England 16, Australia 13. And England must restart reset their position and such an important period at the start of this second half as Matt Burke gets us underway can England re-establish control because that's what they had Wilkinson Greenwood by the way no changes made at the interval and there's the first penalty Signaled by Paul Honnis, Justin Harrison to Elton Flatley, to Taikefu. Jason Robinson. And it's Australia's. Oh, brilliant from Kefu. Inspirational work from him. Vickerman coming through the heavy traffic. It's Noriega. And England backs against the wall here. Gregan finds Flatley. Larkham. He's gone through, out to Wendell Saylor, and Australia score either side of half-time. And they are bristling with confidence again, the world champions. It's Saylor's first try for his country. And now he is matching the words. Stephen Larkham, so important. We said playing one wider, would he find the space? Yes, he does. What a drifting run. What a pass. Cohen's got no chance against Sailor there. Fine finish from the rugby league convert. He'll love that moment. Sailor and Mortlock wide. But Larkham just faded one out and he found the hole. And he found it beautifully. Sailor, who played for the Australian Rugby League side in the World Cup here two years ago, returning to London with the Union team. 
and his new chosen profession. And that is a try which clearly meant so much to him. Matt Burke trying to give Australia a four-point lead. He won't do that. But they are in front for the first time. It's double negatives against New Zealand. They struggled. They scored just before half-time and just afterwards. Australia have done it to England this week. And it's Greenwood on the floor, setting it back for Matt Dawson. Lewis Moody. Last feed here, goals. On home turf, this will be a big test of Clyde Woodward's England. Dawson. And still, he's already got an extra 10 metres. But let's see what happens here as Greenwood fires it off to Robinson. Advantage over, says the referee. Wilkinson again to Greenwood to Johnson. Hands off, goals. Back. Wilkinson, only Moody outside, had to turn back in, and it falls for Australia, and it falls for Elton Flatley, and he's racing away. Jason Robinson needs to really put the burners on now. It's Elton Flatley, and Robinson hasn't got there. Flatley scores. What a blow that is. Well, where did Elton Flatley find that place. I've been watching him as an understudy 10, as a part-time 12 for years, and I just didn't believe he was going to get to the 22. England go for the goal, and look at this. Delalio can't get to him. It's astonishing. Wilkinson, first of all, Larkham in with a tackle. The ball squirts out. You just cannot believe he's going to make it. Well, I felt Doug Howlett was going to leave Robinson on the outside here, but... In this instance, you thought Robinson must take him, and he doesn't. And that is a quite brilliant run from Elton Flatley. And what a turnaround in this test match. A man inspired, Elton Flatley, given his chance and taken it. Matt Burke. No mistake this time. Australia 25, England 16. And that is Australia's highest ever score at Twickenham. And where did it come from, Stuart? George Smith told to get onside. Wilkinson. And Wilco shuffle again. Back. The crowd wanted the ball to stay in hand. It didn't. It was kicked away. And Larkin kicks it long. I think Tyndall hit him very late there. And Australia will have the option from where the ball landed. The crowd try and put him off, but Burke is Australian. He won't worry about that. Gregan, referee in the way. Lock. Cohen. He scored for England. It seems so rosy for the home side. Not now. Dawson. Wilkinson. Back. Dawson. England have to do to Australia what the All Blacks did to England last week. And then go one step further. Staying on it. Roll off quicker, guys. Here's a penalty to help in that aim. Wilkinson's kick, every point matters now. Mind and body in harmony again from Johnny Wilkinson. So definitely a reason for concern. Australia's improved form and confidence and experience. Lost by Noriega. Matt Burke has other ideas, and so do they. They trust their full back. That fortress Twickenham record under massive threat now. Wilkinson, Cohen. Oh, 
Dawson hunting for the ball, he's got it now. Lewis Moody. Ten gold. But Dawson knew advantage. Ten gold and from the side. Was being played to his side. Yes. Dawson, Wilkinson, Tindall. Australia are the best in the world at closing out a match. Thompson. And then Kay. There have been some great kickers on this ground in the white shirt of England. And only 23. He's already the best. Heat comes on, but there's ice in the veins. Just doesn't look like missing, does he? And the gap closes to six. We are in for some last quarter hour. Jason Robinson. Jason Lennon. The right wing. Richard Hill. Jason Robinson again. England get bodies there. Dawson was one of them. Out over the head of Simpson, Daniel. Tyndall had no option but to turn back towards the forwards, but hasn't he done that well? Martin Johnson. England steaming here. Dawson, Simpson, Daniel. Ben Cohen! Ben Cohen! as one to acclaim that score. That's a champion fight back for England. They've been asked to show their metal. They're coming up with it. And again, it's the wingers combined. Simpson Daniel standing out to half. Hold show and then Cohen straight and on the drift. Larkin left for death. The delayed timing, the inside ball, and now Larkin one-on-one -on -one doesn't stand a chance as Cohen is through. What a game, what a score. And this is for the lead. England back in front. What a test match this is. And didn't Ben Cohen take this well? Straightened on Bregan, drifted on Larkham. The old Wallaby 1-2 left for dead. Now Clyde Woodward, it's all get him. A little bit too much for the England manager. And England know that any penalty given to Australia and Burke could be suicide. Robinson from Gitto's kick. Dawson slipping and because of that doing wonderfully well to get the ball away. George Smith. It's a penalty. Offside after the Dawson kick. The flag staying down. England breathe again, but you feel this isn't the final chapter. Burke has missed by the narrowest of margins. Back from the quick restart, Wilkinson, Greenwood, Tindall. Well, you've got to hand it to England, they're still trying to play the ball from deep. They don't want to give it to Australia, but they're driving themselves backwards. Wilkinson. That, I feel, is perhaps the option that should have been used a few seconds earlier. Greenwood. And the vantage is over. 
and it's Wendell Sale. England keep giving the ball away, needlessly. And it's a penalty for hands in the ruck. Clive Woodward can't believe it, but it's happened again. I do not think that Matt Burke has the range. Mortlock doesn't have the distance. But we've seen this before. They'll push the corner and go for it. He thinks he's got the distance. He's shouting across at his teammates, but Matt Burke was told by George Gregan to put the ball out into touch. Fryer throws. England challenge. Richard Hill has it. Wilkinson. It's been one of those matches where you have to keep checking the scoreboard to see who's in front. Gregan. Here comes Sailor. And he never got it in the end. Gregan. Look at that. Two or three English players there to make the tackle. And again, so nearly turnover ball as well. Can Australia go from deep? It's Kefu. As a nation, they refuse to accept defeat. Gitto, lost forward. Dawson runs it out. Referee thinks there's enough time. What a comeback this has been from England. What a noise now in Twickenham. As the record looks set to stay intact. The greatest challenge of the all. Six New Zealand beat them. Cohen. Still Ben Cohen. It's Austin Healy. Robinson. Another try seals it. Robinson goes crashing to the floor. And still we play on. Well, I thought that was a try. I was surprised Robinson I tripped that. Call, yeah. How I about Cohen's performance as Ben? What do you make it? OK, line out. Thompson will throw. Well, Australia have to win this line out, I think, because this is the last play. So England can just march it into touch. Has to be the final play. It goes to Ben Kay. Dawson shouts on his pack. Typify the England fight today, Dawson. And those forwards have wrestled control back. Neil back. Dawson again. Wilkinson. Greenwood. Healy. Well, it's brave. It's Simpson Daniel. England didn't need to risk the attacking move, surely. But they went for it. Still play on, says the referee, after the England knock-on. Breathless stuff. Larkham. Robinson just has to get there. He won't have to play it. And England win. The Twickenham record stays. New Zealand one week, Australia the next. Take it on, and in the end, take it out by this English recovery. What a victory that is. What a test match we have witnessed. And so much credit too to Australia for how they, in the heat of the battle, transformed their play just before half-time and then all the way through the second half.